I'm just going to say it. This type of information makes me feel sick to my stomach. So many of you guys are well aware of the situation that's going on when it comes to bots buying out all the stock for next-gen consoles and for uh, all the graphics cards that are getting released uh, from AMD and NVIDIA. There, for, this, this is coming from Business Insider. I have it up on my phone here. Um, they reported that there is a reseller group on Discord that has just a, just shy of 3,500 PS5 consoles that they've acquired using bots. 3,500. 3,500. That is absolutely ridiculous. It, it's, it's infuriating to see all of that going on. When it's hard enough to just, with the current pandemic and everything and people like still hurting because of lockdowns and everything like that, like that it's just, you're just, you're, you're adding fuel to the fire here. You you really are. $500 for a digital, for a, a physical version of the PS5 is expensive enough and hard enough for people to come up with that kind of money. But you're going to ask, like these guys are going to ask for like a thousand plus easy. So this this is absolutely insane um this reseller group has thousands of members organizing to buy as many ps5 consoles as possible for resale the total collective number of ps5s was 2472 uh, a manager posted um, the group is named crep chief notify and that's in addition to the 1000 that they got from pre-orders back in September when Sony initially opened up sales. Uh, meaning the group sourced nearly 3,500 consoles to sell to customers searching for a next-gen console. How were they successful? Well, we know that they were using bots, but there's more to it. We knew where to go before they announced it, said the manager at... Uh, I'm going to call him Creep Chief. That's what we'll call him, not Crep Chief. Creep Chief. Um, resellers have been posting photos on social media uh, in Europe and the UK regarding their PS5 consoles. I've seen pictures where this guy had, you could fill up almost my entire room here with PS5, both digital and physical versions. It is sick. It is sick. Absolutely sick. Man. Um, let's see. Uh, Creep Chief, made up of 12 staffers, charges a subscription for access to its services starting at for around $40 US, US dollars and going up to $530 US dollars. Paying members get access to a variety of services intended to facilitate the purchase of highly sought after products that can be resold often for a handsome profit. <sighs> Uh, uh, one manager named Tom said that his group competes with other such groups to see who can snag the most of, say, a new pair of Yeezys or the PS5. So not only are they snagging all of them, they have other competitors who are botting at, that they're, they're, oh, I have a headache, I have a headache, I have a headache. Oh my god. This 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 whole situation is just oh. So beyond monitoring retail sites, the group used the same type of software designed to circumvent wait times, jump queues and rapidly purchase high demand items. So these these bot developers, okay? Uh, and their bot developers have seen the demand rise for next-gen consoles, Tom said, and have changed their focus from being uh, from being sneaker-focused bots into multi-use bots for electronics too. Those bots were at least partially responsible for repeatedly crashing Walmart's website when PS5 stock had been replenished. Just as they they're about just as they're at least partially responsible for why it's so hard to find a PS5 right now. Those same bots are the reason why I made that video regarding Target. Where the managers stepped in, or managers, I should say, because it was 
all the targets in my area where the managers stepped in and canceled those bot orders. It's the same reason why Walmart needs to change their system, why it's a it, it's a ridiculous system that they have. Like they make it known to everybody, including bots, when the when the consoles are going up for sale. These this whole situation is asinine. And honestly, they should just they should just send them to the retailers. Just send them to the retailers. Like Look, I understand COVID and you're afraid to go out to a retail store. But look, look, listen. Many retail stores, Best Buy, Target, have contactless uh, uh, have contactless delivery to your car, right? So if you go to Target, they have an app on your phone that you notify them. They, they even have it set up. Like you, you drive into whatever numbers they have in the parking spaces. You drive into the parking space. You have the app open. The app automatically detects that you're right in front of the said parking space. So if you're number one parking space, the app will detect that you're in front of number one. Okay. So you just, so it'll then notify them inside that you're here ready to pick up your order. They will be outside with your order in roughly five minutes. Okay, they will be outside, they will verify your order, you show them your ID, you show them the credit card, they'll verify the number, and then you don't have to open up your window, you don't have to open up your door, they will then ask you to open up your trunk, you open your trunk, they put it in, close, done, you drive away. They have that at Best Buy, they have that at Target, they have it at Walmart. They have the option at GameStop, you can call the GameStops and tell them, hey, I'm here to pick up my order. Send everything to retail stores because not only do you have to, not only do you have to worry about bots, but then you got to worry about FedEx drivers stealing your PS5s. You got to worry about the Amazon drivers stealing your PS5s. Yes, this is the thing that's going on. Amazon drivers in the UK and in the US have been stealing PS5s from people. They open up the boxes, they replace the boxes with something else. Or not the boxes, but they place the items with something else, seal it up with a different tape, not not the Amazon tape, with different tape, and that's what they hand you. That's what they hand you. And by the time you open up the box and you realize it, they're gone. They're gone. It's infuriating. Even and yes, I know, I know, I have my PS5, but it's still an infuriating system like this whole reason is the reason why i got my ps5 late like i had to to try and get it somewhere else and i managed to get it at best buy but it, it's bad is it it's a whole mess of a situation and the retailers i'm sorry look i, I like i said y if you're you're afraid to go out to covid or you're immunocompromised and you know you're more susceptible to getting covid i get it i understand that's one of the reasons why we take a lot of precautions, myself and my family. My wife has bad asthma. I have chronic bronchitis. Like, I, if I get sick, it could really affect me because it affects your lungs. It could really affect my wife because she has asthma. I get it. I understand. We take a lot of precautions ourselves. So even if you don't want to drive out, maybe you can have somebody pick it up for you that you trust, you know, a family member or somebody. Go pick it up for you and bring it over to you. Let me know your thoughts and, and comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. This is a whole mess. This is, this is absolutely insane. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.